How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Don't Escape, a free flash game that dates back to 2013. It's the first in a series by Script Welder. My interest was kind of piqued because a fourth one is in the works alongside Armor Games still, which is pretty cool that the partnership has lasted all through the series. But it's going to be a full proper Steam release, so I wanted to go backwards and see what the original titles looked like before then. I know next to nothing about this game. I'm going in pretty fresh, so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's of interest to you guys. I woke up in a room. The room is not locked, and I remember everything. I'm a werewolf. Okay, well that's the one that's the one thing I knew about the game, and I didn't want to share that immediately because I wasn't sure how obvious it would be if it would be a big reveal at some point in the game. I found it out because I downloaded the game to to play it. I, I downloaded the game so I could play it in full screen and the file was called Werewolf. <laughs> that's the only reason I know that werewolves were a part of it. I didn't know we played as a werewolf, so that's cool. Tonight I will turn and people will die, unless I find a way to prevent myself from leaving this place. I must make sure that whatever happens. I don't escape. Okay, so that's cool. I mean, right away I'd say ask someone to chain you to a wall or something, but ah, then they would know you're a werewolf and they'd for sure kill you. We got ourselves a rope. Also, we have ourselves. <laughs> we, we wield ourselves in our inventory. But no, it does let us place them on there. So I've tied myself with a rope. Very impressive. I don't think I'd be able to tie myself up. I could tie up my feet, I guess. But like tying your own hands? I, I can't envision it. What else? Do a spin around. I can't move. I'm tied. Oh, so was that a terrible starting thing? Unt untie. With some effort, I've untied myself. Okay, so that was never going to do the trick then. Oh, I'm not being timed. I can... All right, I, I do want to try this then. Because obviously if you can untie it as a person, you can rip out of it as a werewolf. But I'm going to end it and see how that plays out. Finish game. You will wait till the sun sets and the full moon rises. You're already starting to feel the urge, the hunger. Are you sure you're ready? I'm going to say yes, even though, like, we most definitely aren't. But I want to see how that plays out. Cool shredding. Stamina. 100%. The transformation was complete. Uh, is having stamina a good thing? Werewolf was hungry, craving for flesh. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. 10%. Oh, okay, and then he was free, and then he killed everyone, right? Stamina right back up to 100. He gets his protein boost. He started looking for a way out. He was very furious and hungry, and literally nothing else stayed in his way. That door itself was open. He wanted to get out of the hut fast. Neither door nor window was locked. Door wasn't even closed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything. At last, the werewolf was free. At last! After all that struggling, the werewolf is free. Shit. Oh, that's such a cool concept. And i it's funny to have, you know, failed it so quickly. But I just wanted to see a slaughter. Werewolf attacked the village and killed nine people, eating alive some of them. Some of them he killed first, those lucky few. While the werewolf was busy killing, a party of monster hunters arrived. They've cornered the werewolf and killed him without any mercy. There's a ferocious fiend in our midst. Don't purr when I say that you're a fiend. It really takes the weight out of it. The cat wandered into the room, so I guess their tail is going to be featured in part of this video for a while now. Alright, well I'm down. This is a cool-ass concept. I could see this making for a very awesome larger game. I feel like it would have to be like several nights or something, though, to be worth a price tag. Curious to see how that comes together. So right away, door closed. I kind of want it open to see what's going on in the room. Things. Let, let's test and see if it gets darker. Lots of different walls. We can. So if I close the door, I think I can see everything about the same. We got dried herb, which no idea what good that'll do. A root. Oh, just fantastic stuff all around. We're going to make ourselves such a killer tea. Oh, oh, let's push this in front of the door, maybe? There, yeah, 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 that's what I wanted. Broom, I don't need this. I, you're making use of everything else in here, so I figured why not. Stick that in front of the wardrobe in front of the door. Antlers, a hunter must have lived here. Great idea, stick yourself in a hut with a hunter living inside. There's no way they'll ever catch you that way. 
No ammunition. That's a good thing. You don't want a werewolf with a shotgun. The pot is filled with cold water. Ooh, if you start feeling some of those urges come on, you can just start splashing water in his face. That'll settle him right down. Bottle. The hut looks abandoned. I'll stay here for a while and figure out what to do. I hope I haven't eaten whoever lived here. Tonight, there's a full moon. Oh, shit. So he doesn't even remember how he got here? Like, maybe he's been staying here for a month? I mean, he would have had to have. I guess there's a possibility he ate the guy, like, months ago and then just found the abandoned cabin and just, you know, has no way of knowing how all that came together. There was a key in one of the pockets. How about the jacket itself? What if he just put it on backwards? It would be, like, the world's shittiest straight jacket. Roll around in some cobwebs, too. That'll slow you down. Bed, candle, empty. Check all the drawers. Tinderbox. Under the bed? Oh! Oh, another key. Wait, that was the second key, right? A key and a small key. I bet you the gold one goes for this. I've unlocked the chest, and inside, hammer and nails. Oh, awesome. Solid looking table. I'm a big fan of this table. Barrels seem to be empty and of no use to me. Just stack all this shit in front of the, the, the thing. I mean, if you can lift it as a human, you're going to be able to do it a lot easier as a werewolf. Just burn it all down. It's not a super long term thinking kind of option, but it might do the trick. I kind of wonder if this game would work if it was on a timer. It might just be too panicky and too frustrating. I kind of like that it lets you choose when you've done everything you want to. I've forgotten what the other thing was in here that was locked. I thought there was a second thing. I can't put these herbs or roots or anything into this empty vessel. Can I put it into the barrel? I'm, I figure I gotta like mix them together or something. How about a glass full of cold water? I don't need any water from this pot. Okay, oh, okay, here, I, I'm onto something. Put the herb and the root in there. Let's light ourselves up a fire. Okay, not that. Let's just burn the broom. Come on now. Holy shit, I can go outside. All right then. Okay, we got a mushroom, an axe. Uh, we definitely need some wood. Maybe we can chop, I, I guess we don't need to chop apart furniture if we have that. That was gonna be my next instinct. Maybe we do though, because then we can use that to board up other things. Uh, I think that's the extent of what you can do outside. I found everything I needed very quickly. There was a chain under the roof. That looked like maybe it was just more cobwebs. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Back inside, door shut, thing in the way again. Let's get that fire roaring right away here. There, nice and warm, because for some reason we want to be, we, I mean, I no, I can appreciate that. We want to be comfortable, but I think it might just get a little too warm once we turn into a furry beast. Also, we might choke ourselves out with smoke with all the windows and doors shut, but that's okay. We'll just hope it's a good chimney. Mushroom in the pot as well. What are we at? Water's boiling. The potion seems ready. God knows what potion it is. We just like, we just grabbed whatever was around us. I'm getting cat for blowing in my face. A potion. An axe. A bit rusty, but still sharp. Can't break apart the table. How about one of these? Or the bed. Table, chairs, boom. That was what we needed. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so the, the door, I guess that'll count as covered. And we'll plank, plank up. There, no, but then, but then you know, put the planks on the on the thing. Otherwise, they don't do much good, do they? They are perfect. <laughs> took took some weird precise clickings. You didn't want to accidentally open the door again. It's locked. Um, yeah, I guess that counts as a lock. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, move that out of the way one more time. I'm gonna lock this door. I'm putting that back in the way. I think I should have thrown the key out the window. Hmm, maybe it'll let me stash it in the drawers. Maybe my werewolf brain will be too dumb. I'm gonna drink my potion. It has an awful taste. I don't know, I, I'll, I'll rope myself up, I'll chain myself up, 
That's about all I can do. The fact that I left the key here worries me a little bit and makes me think maybe it won't work, but we got to give it a try. I am ready. Transformation was complete. The weakening potion didn't work at all. <laughs> well, shit. I mean, it was just random dusty shit we found around the yard and the house. Like, come on. He bit off the rope that was restraining him. Then he struggled with the chain for a while. That one took a, an extra big chunk. We're, we're way better. Hey, the cats are chewing on my cord here. Only fictional chewing, okay? He was very furious and hungry. He wanted to get out of the hut fast. He started ramming the blocked door. It took him some time to break the lock. At last, the werewolf was free. Oh, shit. So he did still get out. He was able to just ram the shit out of the door then, hey? Well, what did he manage to accomplish then? Accomplish is maybe the wrong term, but in his books it would be an accomplishment. A frightful night. Werewolf attacked the village and killed two people, partly eating alive one of them. We're doing a little better, a little less chaos. One of the villagers was bit but lived. He considered himself lucky. At least until the next full moon. Okay, so we, we're worse off than before. This is somehow almost worse, because he didn't kill everyone. The werewolf has fled into the woods before a party of monster hunters arrived. They didn't manage to track the beast. So I, like, kind of won in the sense that I lived, but I, I still caused a lot of shit. Uh, you cannot put the planks in the fire. I wonder if I should have left the logs out and tried to do more barricading with them because the potion seems like it sucks. Oh, the axe gets used up somehow. I was going to try and smash apart the barrels while I was at it. All right, I'm going to try my lock and window theory, although I guess he, sh he smashed the lock either way. That seemed like such a good idea to me. So it does let you extra barricade up the door. But then that's a little bit tricky because he'll probably just try and fling himself out the window instead. I get to, I can lock up the window as well, but it's not going to be reinforced with anything. I didn't even ever try to light the candle. I'll just end it once more, see how it plays out. Probably not going to do much better. All I did was barricade the door more heavily. He's just going to smash his way through the window. He looks around the hut, sniffing. Then he started looking for a way out. He was very furious and hungry. He wanted to get it fast. The door was blocked, so he tried the window. It took him some time to break the lock. Then he was totally free. Shit. Yeah, plays out the same. We got the slaughter again. I didn't even chain him or anything that time. I knew he was getting out the window, so I didn't bother. Light the candle and say a prayer? It would be a waste, it says. Oh, shit. I think I just clicked on a special floorboard. What is? What did I just get myself? I got a, a spice. A single spice. Oh, oh, and some dried meat. Okay. Well, seems to me like maybe he would just eat and get up his strength then by doing that. Oh, yeah, look at that. It totally, like, switches to a different clicker thing for that little thing that hardly looks like anything different. Fair enough. Well, let's make the meat more delicious while we're at it. I, I don't think you can spice it. I noticed this earlier, but didn't really explore it. Oh, shit. Okay. I should have tried that right away. There was clearly two pages, and I just never did it. Just as I expected, the witch talked in riddles. She said that to weaken the beast, I would need a handful of hot dust, a crunchy herb, and something that grows in earth, yet is not a plant. So the roots, the herb... I don't think we have hot dust. Ash. We gotta get some ash, right? So if we boil the fire and then put it out? But then we need it in the potion. Damn it. She also mentioned that it would wear off quite fast. So we have our herb, our roots, and the spice. Could be hot dust. Like spicy. Could be spicy stuff. No, go right in there. That would make so much sense. Okay, I put the spice in the pot. Uh, but don't put the mushrooms in? Oh, but mushrooms grow in the ground and aren't a plant. Oh, maybe I've, if I put both in, I might ruin it. Hopefully not. Oh, wait, if the potion is slow acting, then it would digest better in meat, right? I've poured the potion on the meat. Hopefully soaked up meat does the trick. 
We'll nail up the window, because he ignored the window last time when it was nice and, you know, taken care of like that. Lock the door. Wardrobe in front. Uh, I guess there's no potion to drink. You can just eat the meat. And then you're going to have to... Oh, wait. You won't... He won't... He won't eat it? Because it's raw, perhaps? Ah, shit. Mm, but he could put it out for himself to eat. There, let's feed the beast. It seems like, you know, it would it would give him a boost of stamina. He's gonna shoot up to like 110%, or he'll he'll go through the the ropes and the chain, and it'll bring him down, and then he's gonna get a boost of energy there, go back up, but then the potion will kick in and bring him back down there. So we're gonna put him through this roller coaster here. He'll be all emotionally drained by the end of that, and there's no way he'll be able to terrorize a neighborhood. The transformation was complete, the werewolf was hungry. He bit off the rope. He struggled through the chains. The meat on a hook provided distraction. While the weakening potion didn't work. Damn it. So probably because I put too much shit in it. He started ramming the blocked window. Opening it was easy, as it wasn't locked. I thought I locked it. I was pretty sure I locked it. Three people dead. One, one got turned into a werewolf. Oh wait, so this time we're doing herb. Mushroom, but not root. Did I lose? I never picked up the root. I purposely skipped picking up the root because I didn't want to make that mistake. Spice it all up good. I think it seems ready. Get our drippy, oozy, gross looking meat. So I wonder, the first time I actually, like, use the key, this time I just used the... Yeah, I don't think the key does anything. You can lock it with just the latch. Uh, I wonder, I bet you when I was clicking around trying to put the planks on it, I accidentally unlocked it again. Because it is frustratingly weird to click around on that shit. You can unlock it even when it's... Alright, doesn't matter then, apparently. <laughs> what good can... How can you do it any better? You can't. <sighs> Fucking forgot chain. I gotta run... I gotta unlock everything and run outside and go grab that now. Remember to lock it back up again. What a chore being a werewolf can be. Who'd have thought? The hope is that my potion is better and that that counted as being a locked window. The meat on the hook provided distraction. After eating it, he felt very dizzy, so adding the root did me mess things up then. He started ramming the blocked door. It took some time to break the lock. At last the werewolf was free, but he has no stamina. Right? A calm night. Werewolf broke free from the hut, but it took him much time and effort. Weakened by the poison, tired from ramming the door, he had no strength left. He fled to the woods, unnoticed by anyone. And then just went and took like a nice little a nice little nap. He spun around in a circle a couple times and then just like curled up in a little ball and had a little puppy snooze. That's how I'm going to at least imagine that it happened. <laughs> well, awesome, guys. There you have it. That was the first Don't Escape. There are three of them for free online, and there's a fourth one in the works. I look forward to checking out the rest of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you don't think that I was a rookie at the game, but it was cool seeing the different endings and everything, so I had fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.